English Bal Bharti Standard 6. Students, today we will be covering Chapter 2.4 Anak Krakatova. Krakatova is an island in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia. It is known for its volcano which erupts regularly. What is volcano? A volcano is a crack or opening in the earth's crust. There is a hot molten rock near the earth's center. Sometimes it rises to the surface of the earth through such a crack or opening and flows out. When this happens, we say that the volcano has erupted. A volcanic eruption happens on tremendous scale. Thick dark clouds of smoke rise up high from the opening and spread in the sky. Big blowing burning chunks of rock and red hot lava are thrown out of the crack in the earth. Very hot mud and ash are also thrown out. A great volcanic eruption can change the landforms in an area. When volcanic eruption happens on tremendous scale, we can see that thick dark clouds of smoke rise up high from the opening and spread in the sky. Big glowing burning chunks of rock, rain and red hot lava are thrown out of the crack and very hot mud and ash are also thrown out. Volcanoes are popularly classified into three categories. First, active volcanoes. Active volcanoes erupt regularly. Second, dormant volcanoes. Dormant ones temporarily inactive or in a deep sleep. We find information about eruptions of these volcanoes in history, but now they are a quiet. Extinct volcanoes. Geographers can guess by looking at the rock formatting that they used to erupt long, long ago. But there is a no record of it in history. An extinct volcano in is unlikely to erupt again. Krakatoa is an active volcano. It has erupted many times causing great disasters. The worst of eruptions took place in August 1883. The volcano erupted with such a loud boom that it was hurled more than 3500 km away in Australia. It is believed to be the loudest sound that was man has ever heard. The island which was a volcanic mountain collapsed on itself. The dust that was thrown up in the eruption rose to about 80 km in the sky. It spread in the sky around the world and later settled in different parts of the world thousands of kilometers away. The eruption caused giant waves or giant waves or tsunamis in the sea near the island. About 165 villages and towns were destroyed due to eruption. The tsunamis and the eruption destroyed two-thirds of island of Krakatoa. It collapsed beneath the surface of the sea, creating a huge underwater volcanic crater or hole the hole was more than 6 km wide. Then, in 1927, the plume of smoke rose out of the water on the carter. It was followed by another eruption. A few days later, a new island volcano broke water. How did it happen? When the underwater volcano threw up ash and rock, it was quickly taken away by the seawater, but then the lava started 
flowing out of the cart of fasting. This volcanic material was not all taken away by the waves and a new mountain began to grow. It kept growing and was soon seen above the water. Thus, a new island grew from the old island of Krakatoa. It was named Anak Krakatoa or Child of Krakatoa. Anak Krakatoa is still an active volcano. Eruptions have begun again since 1994. It lies quite for few days and then again there are eruptions. With more lava flowing out of the island, it's still growing bigger. Since 1950, the island has grown at an average rate of 5 inches per week. A part of the old island known as Rakata is still visible in the sea. A little away from the arrival under Krakatoa. After Krakatoa's eruption in 1883, all the surrounding islands and coast were covered with hot ash. No life remained. When a scientist visited it in 1884, he found just one spider there. But the living world on Rakata was not lost gone forever. The wind and the sea brought seeds of plants to the island. Some seeds came with the plants, came with the birds who flew for the island. Plants and animals that live in the sea came to the coast again. Small land animals like ants, termites or even rats and lizards Travel to the island on plants floating in the sea. One edge of the island was soon teeming with plants and animals. It was like laboratory where scientists can see how living things slowly develop in an area. Today, scientists can observe this also in a part of Anakrakutuwa, which does not get covered with volcanic ash. The western coast of Java was greatly affected by the Krakatoa's eruption. Very few human beings were left there. But the wildlife, animals and plants in that area grew in number again. In fact, the wildlife grew naturally since there were no human beings to interfere with it. There was no one there to cut the trees or kill the animals. So this region become rich in wildlife.